crazy just seeing all these bikes together. Wow. These builds are insane. No! No! <laughs> hey, that's for Patreon. That's for Patreon. <laughs> it's for OnlyFans. <laughs> Work it. Yes, yes. in Little Paradise. It's about 11 o'clock on Thursday. Peter is in town to pick up the 23. And we are ready to rock and roll. Y'all been making me wait and wait and wait. I wanted to come here last night. I want to see this bike. Oh my God, look at it. <laughs> look at that motherfucker right there. That's my motherfucker too, all right? <laughs> let, me, let me see, let me see. I know they've been out testing it. Any scratches? No, we didn't any scratches. It hasn't been dropped It has yet. not been dropped yet. No, they are giving me the privilege of dropping it first, which I will do. Look at this. Take okay. a seat. It's the clean. Yes, I'm, I'm, six I'm, six I'm about to. Let me put my stuff down. My it shade. definitely is the cleanest stuff bike in Chicago right now. For I got a prop for, for my <laughs> first meeting. Since I am the motherfucker. Oh, yeah, nice. boy. How's you like that it? feel? I'm liking that, man. So you guys are gonna have to show me hand position here. I think that yeah, that's... Yeah, you wanna run it on the end of your levers. There you go. End. Yeah, right at the balls. There. Oh, man, that's easy. And Perfect. Plus clutch. That's an RFC one. Oh, finger. that's the brake right there. Uh-huh. Oh, man, so this clutch is easy as pie. Yeah, it's oh, pretty... Oh, my God, look at that, because I was saying, how am I gonna pull that clutch with one thing? It's pretty ridiculous. And yeah, then when you're using these front brakes, you're only gonna need two fingers. Those two are, are for your front brake. Okay. One finger on the clutch, one finger on the brake, two finger on the grip there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like a screwdriver, like you're working a screwdriver. Okay. Clutch, brake. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll be dropping it. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the whole brakes. purpose of the bike is something that you can drop <laughs> and, and learn how to stunt ride on, you know? Oh yeah, I'm going to. You know, I'm feeling really good because I got a little parking lot in my backyard. Oh, awesome. Just like that? I was thinking that there was a key somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so you got your Woodcraft, that's how you started it. All your cock stuff is set up. Two Brembo RCSs, your stealth stick. Uh, uh, Brembo RCS, what's that? So this is a 19 millimeter that's Brembo the, RCS. That's the master. Okay, so this is for your good. master. We'll always run a little bit bigger one up front to push a little bit more fluid. This is a 14 millimeter yeah. RCS Brembo. Uh, and they're both okay. mounted to your Cox uh, 50 millimeter clip-ons with the Cox triple treat to hide and uh, pretty much clean up and strengthen your front end. So the whole front end setup is, is custom, trick, everything you need. And Steel then, braided brake lines. Yep. You, you yeah, um, yeah, decided on the 55 tooth uh, sprocket instead of the 60 that you had mentioned in the yep. beginning. That's what you run, right? Yep. When you, when you had mentioned that you might want to do some street riding, some highway riding, anything like that with it, get out once in a while, I would say 55. That's what I run on my 636. If it was a strict lot bike, I would say 60 tooth would be so, okay. Something that you literally pull out okay. of your garage, put into your but truck, drive it to the parking lot. The fact, that this, is, right. the fact that this is going to get on the road here and there, I think 55 is a perfect happy medium. Some of the crash protection on it is the Cox mini cage. Yes. We didn't even have to really cut up the, the fairings at all. Justin did a really yeah, good job. All I had to do yeah, was so just barely Barely yep. touch it up. Just barely up there. Yeah. Yep. Sub cage is part of the sub frame on this on point. Yep. So this is normally your sub cage, including the 12 bar two, all part of that sub frame. So pretty much an all in one, uh, all steel back half on this mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. The only thing really aluminum left on it is, is, is the frame. This bike, if you take care of it, will last you onto your son. You know? It'll outlive all of us. It'll outlive all of us, yeah, because it's a brand new 636 built right the first time, so. But how do you make money? How do I make money? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube's a big one. Uh, Patreon is another. They were the, they were the main How thing. many views do you have to get to get a penny? To get a penny? Well, wow. What did I, I thought offer? it was 1,000 views for one penny that your million views only get you 10 bucks. No, no, no. What a great topic to talk about. Misguided Motorsports, we started eight weeks ago. This is our eighth episode, maybe our ninth. I don't know. At 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, zero community guidelines, strikes, and a YouTube review is when you are able to start making money. So you have to have all those checks in the box just to start making money. And then after that, it becomes not so much about views, but about watch time. It's just like watching TV and 
paying for commercial spots there. So, um, Misguided Motorsports, really cool to watch grow up like that, because to be honest, my channel was monetized when I was 17. <coughs> so it's been a long time, and it's been a lot different process of getting monetized when I was 17 versus now in 2022. We've pretty much taken the gamble that this shop and Justin and Nick and myself will be entertaining enough to start a whole nother channel just for that and just for builds like yours because to be honest builds like that are they're very uncommon but they're super cool to watch you know and people are beyond intrigued with that build what do you mean uncommon a it's zero not mile often that oh okay that's zero. what i got it is not very often that somebody goes Lies to a brain. dealership peter from across the country with zero miles and gets a complete stunted out bike in pristine condition like this. Yeah. It's very uncommon. And it's really cool to see. And believe me, a lot of people from all over the world are watching this right now because I know. of that bike. Where is the balance point on this bike? It's pretty far back there. You want to show them, Do you want me to ride your bike? <laughs> no. <laughs> common ones to stunt. The 2003, the 2004, the 2013 to 2018, and the 19 plus. These two are extremely similar, but these are your three that are the most common ones. There is a fourth 636, the 0506, but it's a little bit more uncommon to really build. So this is a pretty cool opportunity to see three 636s that have a lot of the same parts and are set up extremely similar. Somehow I'm like I, I, I do something, man, and it leaps out from me. It's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of power. And the sprocket is making it that's feel a, so. That's a six three six. Now practice because I had it up there and I kept it up there and if that's the red light going into there, a red light and you put it down. I had to bring it down because of the red light. So no, it's just about a little bit of practice here, man. And I'm gonna be standing this sucker up and scraping this bitch. Yeah, scraping this bitch. Look at this taco truck. Cool. Yeah, shake hands. Shake hands and look at me. 
This is good. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Work it, yes? Yes? No! No! <laughs> hey, that's for Patreon, that's for Patreon. <laughs> it's for OnlyFans. Work it, yes, yes, yes. What a great day to just be outside riding around on the west side. Crazy, just seeing all these bikes together. Wow. These builds are insane. What do you think of riding in Chicago? Uh, listen, man, I, I had a bike for seven years here. I, I did my training at Northwestern and I had a motorcycle the entire time. 1981 to 1988, and then I spent five years in Kankakee with that Ninja ZX-11. So, no, this is, I, I've been every sing, everywhere in Chicago on a motorcycle. Absolutely. Nothing beats getting around the city like this a motorcycle. This is the best city to ride a motorcycle on Earth. Nothing beats Chicago for this riding a motorcycle. Nothing. A celebratory. Nicholas, yes, you've earned that. Miller High Life. You've earned that. I've earned this. And I got one for you too. Rock, you want a beer? And I got one for you too. Okay. Are you free? Yeah. You're good. Just for you. We're just celebrating. Cheer, just cheers us. We're celebrating. Uh, no, no, no. Cheers. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, you already got a cold one open. All right, cheers. cheers. Okay. All right. Let's crack them and then we got. Come on over here, mm -hmm. Justin. Crack them back. I put these on the company card. I want you guys to bring your beer to me, and then I'm gonna tell you guys when to pull it away. Bring it down further. Bring it, yeah, yeah. A little lower for you? Peter's gotta get a good boomerang. Yeah. Did you get it? Let's do it. Do another well, one. You want one more? We didn't pull away. Good. I already got spit all over my beer. That's all right, that's all right. You gotta pull away a little better next time, Brian. All right, bring yours down a little, Brian. <laughs> no, it was awesome doing the build for you. We can't thank you enough for the business. And it's such a cool project that you can thank me by giving me some money back. That's <laughs> how you can thank me, give me some money back. We bought your beer, didn't we? Oh yeah, and you put a little bit of gas in there. You put a gallon bought of gas. Bought your beer, some gas. What do you want? Justin, can you do some tight circles on this thing? Right here. Please. Does any uh, place sell loose cigarettes? Loose single, cigarette? single, single cigarettes? Not that I know, maybe Nora. Bodyguard. This is our guy. He's been hooking it up every mini Monday for the nice past three man. years. <laughs> he always looks out for us over here, our brothers. <laughs> when did you guys start getting the taco trucks around here? This is awesome. Uh, he just started pulling up like a couple weeks ago. Are they good? Have you had it? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I had the not. I had the nacho uh, jerk jerk or whatever. Yeah. Is it pretty good? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, no problem, bro. Oh, I got you. I fucking love that bike. <laughs> yeah, it's mine. I know. Stay you away from it. Stop, Stop looking, looking at, at it. it. Don't even look at it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking nice out. I like that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you got the jewel. Why do you need a cigarette? Every once in a while, this is a perfect occasion to smoke a cigarette. I had a cigarette about a month ago. It's like after sex, Peter just rode his bike. I need a smoke. I need a smoke. <laughs> Wow. Where the fuck did you find that? Yeah, go park it. Ain't yeah. no way a clean old 304 like this is in Chicago without me knowing about it. Without me knowing about it. How long have you had that? Yeah. You don't see them like that. Hip hop. 
shop in this city. Where can I find an open mic tonight? I would love to find an you open mic. Is that a new rock? Yeah, right. <laughs> shit, but I'm the motherfucker. I run this bitch oh, like no other. I run this <laughs> like Obama. I run this bitch because I'm the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you at, at 107.5, Hot 107.5 in Chicago. Yeah. I was just hanging out with the uh, the DJ at the studio there that day. And it was during the T Grizzly uh, No Effort Challenge, oh. which I didn't know. The whole world doing this right now, Doc. Rolling down the street is a beautiful day. No, I'm find a shorty that will look my way. I see a bunch of dames that are yeah, looking for mine. Yeah, I spit something different for her. I know that I'm fine when it says she's mine. Yo, rolling down the street to this kick-ass beat. I'm out in my whip and I feel the summer heat. Got the top down, baby, with the hair in my hair. I feel it really rich like a millionaire. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I have my first paid gig next Thursday. And I'm spazzing out. I'm spazzing out. The whole city of Detroit must have been watching because the comments were like crazy. I fucking need one now. That's insane. That shit should be legal. That shit should not be legal. Someone should regulate that. Someone should regulate that. Lori, please. Lori, Lori's trying to ban fucking switches and machine guns right now. We should also try to ban off-road vehicles on the road. <laughs> Motorsport sucks, maybe unsubscribe, I don't know. Subscribe to me! <laughs>